Hello artists, we're on our last five five minute lesson. It's gone by so fast, like it always does. Now for this lesson, we're gonna be looking at the Cherokee people and the beautiful baskets that they weave. So you can see all these amazing patterns and they are all passed down generation to generation. There is no written pattern making booklet or anything like that is passed down from mother to daughter throughout the generations. So it's a really special way of creating and passing it on so you are doing what your ancestors did. So now what we're going to do is we are going to draw a Cherokee basket on our piece of paper. So we're going to make a really cool interesting 3D basket and we're going to sketch it together. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So grab your pencil and your piece of paper and we're going to go ahead and we're going to sketch out this beautiful basket that you see on your screen. Now notice though it's a circle and then it goes into kind of a square shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a oval shape for the opening, our ellipse here. So a squished oval and then make sure we're observing it kind of goes out to the side like that and then it comes out and then it kind of curves out that way. It's a very different unique shape and then it kind of straightens out. It goes out kind of kicks out to the left and then it kind of kicks out a little bit on the right and we're going to make this look really 3D. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a line that goes here to here, stop right about the middle, and then from here to here. So now this is actually the corner of the basket. Now we wouldn't put a line though because it's not perfectly square. It's round and then it goes into a square bottom. So now let's go ahead and we're going to do a curve shape here that wraps around like that and then we're going to go ahead and put some straight lines in and remember they're going to get smaller and smaller as they get further back and then larger in the middle and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a woven pattern so think of what kind of mark making would we use that's right we're going to do cross hatching and cross contouring because we're going across the form so we're actually going to be doing some cross contouring that's going around the piece like that there we go so now we have our woven section there and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add this awesome diamond pattern now what we want to make sure is that we're not doing it flat across we need to make sure we're adding angle to it so we're going to go ahead and just have a little kind of squish triangle here and then we're going to do another kind of squish triangle here like that so you're just seeing a little bit of it and then you're going to start to see more and more of the triangle as it makes its way around the basket So just take your time, make sure you pause the video as you're going along. And then we're just going to continue this diamond pattern. There we go. So now we have a really nice, interesting basket shape. Notice the inside is very dark. So we need to go in, continue our mark making, and get that, get that area nice and dark. Like that. And then let's add a little bit of a cast shadow off to the side here. And I'm going to fill that in with our marks. Remember, really dark up close to the basket, and then it can get a little bit lighter as it gets this, works its way out to the right. And then let's go ahead and add some of that patterning inside. 
side of our triangles. Once you've add, added all your marks and details, feel free to add more. And we have finished our last five, five minute class, you guys. Really nice work. Feel free to add more color to this. I can't wait to see everyone's drawings. Really nice work. Have an awesome day, everyone.